Okay, please tell me it's really final this time. How's the diet coming? What are you, my mother? No, TJ, what I am is your friend. And also the director. You know you That's why I'm in the movie. Three months. Well, not unless you get off your ass and get some exercise and you stop eating those damn donuts. But I was going to marry that donut. You idiot, this car is carrying tomorrow's donut shipment for Joe Don Baker. I didn't kill all those people all by myself. Most of them. I bagged my limit that day, that's for sure. And hell, those preschoolers knew jaywalking was illegal. Ah, fucked up. I paid the price. He's talking about the time he missed free Slurpee Day. I'm gonna go through the old way. You're a lucky man, Bob. Except for your voice. Face. You killed a cop! And his defense, that cop would have eventually directed Star Games. Explain to them. Sorry, got held up dropping off some final justice, if you know what I mean. Joe Don, what do your Joe Don I see? A beer can lay here, and part of a Twinkie. Chain link? Nah, no man alive is fit enough to climb a chain link fence. Donnie! You were truly out of your Donnie! element, Donnie! <laughs> Donnie! Hey, you know, good Here, mumble into this tin can inside a factory. Good enough for a movie. Cross their ass. What is your name? No question. Shut up. He's immediately hired as a flight attendant on United. Nearest Island, Malta. Where the hell's Malta? And is there a chocolate Malta? <laughs> Are you trapped in a Graydon Clark picture? Nice wide road. Car chases in Europe are so comfortable. <laughs> Being gently nudged with a briefcase is one weakness. Okay, in Malta they drive on the left. Also, their taxis are made of bombs. Well, so far my main takeaway from this movie is that it must be very inexpensive to film in Malta. Please, do sit down. Thanks, but ain't no way that chair's got the tensile strength for the job. Maybe I can help. After all, I do know what the bastard looks like. Ooh, that lamp took some bad rolls before it landed the Pixar gig. I bet he keeps Slim Jims and a burrito in that belt around the house. <laughs> That's what that noise is all about. The imprint he left on the mattress became Malta's newest tourist attraction. Everybody's talking at me. I can't hear a word they're saying. Cause I'm drunk and I don't care. You got it, you got it. <laughs> I'm Gard. Yeah, that's it, baby. Let that narrative unfold through the choreography. Sir, sir, please rejoin the Westworld float. It's your move. Yeah. He says the same thing to his colon every morning. <laughs> It's like a classic Western omelet, just a cheesy pile of meat and oil. Okay, I'm putting it away. Strip down to a loincloth, we'll settle this sumo oh, style. I don't know where Palermo is. Don't do anything. Be like the director of Final Justice, don't do anything. <laughs> All right. Now, it was my understanding there was to be a last meal. Well, that's only on death row. Uh, We've had excellent relations with Malta for over 100 years. You trying to change all that? I want your badge and meatball sub on my desk this afternoon. I hope that guy in the back carries the boss around like Oscar the Grouch. I'll accept your word. It's my job to tell the truth. Oh, great. Is that what you think your job is? He looks like Woody from Toy Story wished to be a real boy on a monkey's paw. Your milk, sir. Thank He puts the turd in shake and not stirred. He's very experienced and he is very good. The airport, the taxi driver paid the price. In Texas, my partner paid the price. And very soon, a He's toilet's going to pay the price. It's real personal. <laughs> Look at this Italian guy named Joe Palermo. He's about six feet tall, 180 pounds, real sharp dresser. I wonder if you can help me find him. Are you a fat cop? If you're a fat cop, you got to tell us. Take American money? All right, thank you, honey. You better not be lying to me. Or else I'm going to come back and pay for sex. 
The tavern's full of guys bragging how fast they did the Kessel Run. Hold it down there, Sheriff! Maria! Maria! Ha! <laughs> made you look! But seriously, stop or I'll shoot you! I want every- Well, I know what you're thinking. Did I fire five shots or six? Oh, guess I fired zero. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Now I got one shot left. A gun's chamber exists in a constant state of quantum flux. <laughs> but please, Father, I want to go fast. I'm a, I'm a stereotype of Father. Yeah, don't worry. Uh, but I kill a hobo. Yes, yeah, so don't worry. About I chop up the body and I serve it to my family. Yes, that's great. I take a sexual pleasure from plotting a sarin gas attack on the Vatican. Uh, you say a Hail Mary, it's don't fine. Worry. Hitler, he is still alive, and I'm hiding him in my basement. Uh, half a lord's a prayer. When in Malta, be sure to visit the industrial waterway they closed after all those kids got sick. This screenplay broke the world record for the use of the word lumbering. May the lord guide this cap into thine ass. Oh boy. Assassin's Creed after the hernia. Also, make sure he doesn't sneak up behind you. It'd be really embarrassing. A total indictment of one's police skills and basic intelligence. Oh! Uh, look out for that kayaking tour. Ah! Oh, oh, my paddle. Fight choreography by two middle-aged men arguing over the volleyball net at the condo barbecue. As God is my judge, I will keep you in custody until your plane leaves tomorrow. As long as no one serves me salsa from New York City. Oh, smugglers, huh? What's a crusty bunch of scallywags like you plunder? <laughs> from the looks of it, a casual golf and boating wear. Ah, it's an honorable booty. <laughs> uh, yeah, Joe Don's no quitter like Harrison Ford. He'll power through the scene with the diarrhea. Okay, we'll see whose hat is less appropriate. Our kids are not as comfortable as yours in America, are they? Well, actually, I wish ours were a lot more like yours. Flattery will not help your situation. Foot rubs, on the other hand. Actually, I, I guess she was not ready for this assignment. And I've got a bus to drive. Know. She didn't have a thing to do with it. Hey, pal, come here. I want to talk to you. Wait a minute. Listen. Oh, Geronimo, you're annoying as hell, but damn it, you are charming. Except you're not remotely charming. I always forget that part. I don't want any more trouble. Well, that's exactly what you're going to get, unless I get some answers about that tally. And I'll have a raspberry daiquiri, please. Wait, something healthy? No! Yep, that don't matter. My system will just reject it. Oh, yeah. Everyone's asleep. Time to roll up a half pound of cold cut, squirt mustard on it, and eat it over the sink. <laughs> Mike? Well, what else would she be getting up in the middle of the night for? Uh, hmm. uh, I like not knowing who that is or what she's doing. It's a refreshing twist on a traditional, you know, movie. Uh, where information is conveyed. Yeah, right. Who needs that? Yeah, I get it. Romeo, where far art thou, Romeo? Oh, there you are. There he's dead! All I see is a big, brown, disgusting lump. No, that's him, you idiots! <laughs> In Malta, the boats are also made of bombs. I got a son of a bitch! <laughs> That's me at a seafood restaurant after I picked my own lobster. The American has proven it is just not anyone. Or not just anyone, but oh. uh, I'll let it go. Yeah. I used to have squirrels and jackrabbits back in Texas. That's how we ate. Just lightly stun them and swallow them whole. A lot of people want to kill and or arrest him, so he's just going to lay low, try to disappear in the crowd. Low profile. Ah, oh, thank you, pal. Appreciate it. Yes, drink it all. The poison's on the bottom. Yeah, what's that? Nothing. La <laughs> I understand orders. You know, there's an old saying. You know, you're right. Go ahead on. Just right next night. That is 100% not an old whatever. saying. Like, <laughs> sorry about this, pal. Get in there. Oh, it smells like if a swamp had a locker room. No, I don't think so. Here, I got you. All right. Uh, hey, what'd you do with my holster snacks? This was it's one of the nicest houses on the island, and Don Lamona is a very respected businessman from Rome. They call him the Mattress-a-King. Where's it? Anyway, so I says, 
eat a slice of bread in less than a minute. Can you call that a bet? <laughs> Partner, I once took down a 40-pound wheel of Gruyere in just under a half an hour. <laughs> slice of bread. You stay here. No way. That's downwind of you. Be careful. Oh, and uh, go ahead on. That's my catchphrase. I, I know. Go ahead on. No, but please, please stop. Go ahead on. I got it. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, halt in the name of the law. Boy, I hope this is the right house. Please, have some decency. Leave the lace curtains out of this. Yeah, politely ignore my murder boner. Well, here he comes, the guy I want to kill. And the Italian villain's with him. Now that Lamont is dead, he's going to pay me the rest of my money. In a twist no one saw coming. Or er, er, cared about. In a twist no one cared about. <laughs> oh, in the name of God, somebody put me on YouTube! Damn, you Montenegrins are tough. Malta, you're in Malta. Whatever, Ching Chong. That's her own continent. High cholesterol planes drifter. You went down with an assault, cowboy. And they already thought of you basically as a bowling ball in a hat. Bullet. The big one's got my badge. Get it for me. Wait, that's it? <laughs> what happened to the bartender that he dunked into that water tank? Did, did his kids wonder why he came home from work all wet? Oh, did someone have to cover the rest of his shift? Or did he gut it out and finish only to catch a cold? Well, Bill, that's what sequels are for. Oh, I hope. 